Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Carson Carson is the transferred use of a Scottish surname with unknown origins most likely derived from a place name, although the sun suffix would suggest a patronymic origin. The surname was first recorded as A. Carson in the 13th century but is believed to have originated with an ancient Galloway clan of the Scottish Lowlands, the southwesternmost region of Scotland. As such, the name is probably of Brythonic origin, i.e., ancient Britain slash Celtic origin, from the same branch as the Welsh or Cornish rather than the Gaelic branch. So the meaning of this name seems to be lost to history. What we do know of the medieval Carsons is that a one Morris Carson was appointed to the position of bailiff of the Isle of Man around 1100 by the Scottish king and later became high-ranking administrators of Dumfries in Galloway, one of them even seized the castle of Dumfries in 1305. The Carson clan was apparently known for their ferociousness and strength, qualities needed to survive the border areas of England in medieval times, to be sure. The clan motto is Na Emublis, don't forget me. While we're on the Scottish topic, you might also be interested to know that Carson is the Scottish Gaelic word for why. As in wherefore, for what reason, example, Carson SEO, translation, what's the big idea? So at least we can give you one concrete meaning behind the word Carson. Usage of the name Carson as a given name, however, was inspired by American frontiersman Kit Carson, 1809-1868, who made important contributions to the westward expansion of the United States during the days of the Wild Wild West. Personality of the boy named Carson The number seven personality is deeply mystical and highly in tune with their spirituality. They operate on a different wavelength than the average Joe. Spending time alone comes easily to sevens, as it gives them time to contemplate philosophical, religious, and spiritual ideas in an effort to find real truth. Sevens are wise, but often exude mystery as if they are tapped into something the rest of us don't understand. They love the outdoors and are fed by nature. Sevens are constantly seeking to understand human nature, our place in the universe, and the mystery of life in general. This makes them quite artistic and poetic, but they are also keen observers with high intellect, so they are equally scientific-minded. Sevens are charitable and care deeply about the human condition. Popularity of the boy named Carson The male given name Carson has been around for over 100 years. The name bounced around the charts at relatively low usage for most of the 20th century but has come into fashion in the past decade. Carson is now experiencing some of its highest popularity ever. The name seems to be hovering around the edge of the top 100. A female version of the name, Carson, has recently popped onto the US. Popularity charts, but the name is clearly masculine, so we don't expect the few little girls out there to undercut its manly power anytime soon. Carson conjures up the pioneers of the Old West, thanks to Kit Carson, so we put the name right up there with Wyatt or Levi. Quick facts on Carson. Gender, boy. Origin, Scottish. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, 90. Pronunciation, K-R-S-N. Simple meaning, Y. Characteristics of Carson. Eccentric, mystical, solitary, wise, intuitive, philosophical, imaginative. Cultural references to the baby name, Carson. Literary characters of the baby name, Carson. Carson Drew is Nancy's father, a widower, and a respected lawyer in River Heights. Like his daughter, Carson has brown hair and blue eyes. He enlists the help of his daughter for many of his cases and gets the young sleuth on her path. He guides her and assists her when necessary, both as an admiring co-professional and as a father. He frequently leaves Nancy to her investigations while he travels on business. Famous people named Carson Carson Cressley, fashion expert, Carson Daly, TV personality, Carson McCullers, writer, Carson Palmer, football player, Carson Robison, country musician. Historic figures with the name Carson Rachel Carson is the author of A Euro Esalent Spring to Euro, her 1962 prize-winning expose of the harm being done to the environment by chemicals. 
having worked as a scientist and editor for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, she had already published numerous pamphlets, scripts, and articles on the conservation of natural resources, as well as three books about the sea. It was her anxiety about the increasing use of synthetic pesticides after World War II that caused her to turn her attention in that direction, and Silent Spring was the result. Dilified by corporate chemists, agriculturists, and even government agencies, she held firm to her convictions, and the book was a runaway success. Rachel Carson died in 1964, but her legacy is an astounding 1 a euro no less than a 180-degree turnaround in how we, the human creatures a euro in charge a euro of this great planet, are beginning to think about and act toward the world we live in. She can truly be lauded as a euro mother of environmentalism a euro. Kit Carson is one of the best-known characters in the pantheon of the American Old West. He was born in the Missouri Territory and apprenticed at a young age to a saddle maker, but this was not the life for Kit. At the age of 14 he ran off and started his extraordinary life with fur trapping. As such, he mingled with Native American tribes and married first, an Arapaho woman and after her death, a Cheyenne. Although he could neither read nor write, except to sign his name, Kit was proficient in Spanish, French, and several Native American languages. His teaming up with John C. Fremont was serendipitous a euro he worked as a guide for Fremont and during their long association, Kit Carson was present on expeditions into the Sierra Nevada and the Oregon Trail, and took part in California Euro S. Bear Flag Rebellion. The tales of these exploits made Kit the subject of dime novels during his lifetime, his popularity only grew wider after his death. Kit Carson worked as a federal Indian agent and while he advocated for the reservation system, it is generally believed that he did so in the spirit of trying to protect the native people from the growing hostility on the part of white settlers. Nonetheless, he was one of those responsible for the relocation of thousands of Navajo to a reservation in New Mexico, an episode that became known as the Long Walk, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds. After serving in the Union Army during the Civil War, Kit Carson retired to the life of a rancher in Colorado. In 1868, he traveled to Washington, D.C., in order to plead for assistance on behalf of the Ute tribe. Certainly a man of his times, and manifesting the overriding sense of superiority of the white man, Carson still appears to have been closer than many to our somewhat more enlightened times. <laughs>